Hey guys, what you're about to see in this video is some, probably some of the most impressive things I've ever filmed ever for our YouTube channel. Enjoy it. Hello everybody, I'm Chris Provost and you're watching Provost Park Pass and guess what? I'm at an Olympic ski jumping park. Yeah, it's a training facility for Olympians. It's held, it's here in Park City, Utah. And today we're gonna see a bunch of ski jumpers. I've never done this before. I'm gonna experience it for the very first time, just like you guys are. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go do this. Here we are guys. Look at this. These ski jumpers, they practice and they go off into this pool. I think they dive into the pool and ski in the pool. That's what we're gonna see. Look how tall that is. I cannot, I cannot imagine. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. You guys, we're just like waiting here and all of a sudden this guy just came up, he starts diving up the... This tower is so tall. And these are the ski jumps here. I don't know much about this. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to learn some about, learn some information about this. And then as I learn it, I'll pass it on to you guys so we can learn together. Now, right inside, they have right over here, they actually have a museum, like a ski history museum. We're gonna check this out because we're here a little early. The show starts in about 20 or so minutes. We're gonna watch that show, but I wanna go in and look at this museum with you guys. Miles and I are gonna look at the different outfits that they had here. Check this out. Look at these outfits. This is from the 1979 Euro Head to Head West Germany. I love this. Oh, that's France. That's 1989, the United States. I don't know about that one. Oh, is that your favorite? 1970, Austria? I love it. Oh, here's the United States, 1977. Levi, look at that hat. Ski Levi's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is 1986, United States. Check that out. Can you believe these outfits? I think this could be my favorite. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is Austria in 1979, 1974. I love this. Holy cow. Look at that. Seriously, that's an amazing ski outfit. Okay. This is the Olympic training park. They are open seven days a week, and these guys are out here, these guys and girls are out here training seven days a week. They take the very best, the best, the best, and they get to become part of what's called the, what's called the, called the, Flying Ace All-Stars. And that's what we're gonna see tonight is the Flying Ace All-Stars. Now, what they do on those jumps there, they're made of plastic, they run water down to reduce friction. Right as a skier goes down, they're gonna release bubbles underneath the water. The water, those bubbles come up, it'll break the surface tension so that way they don't slap on it quite as hard. Some of these jumpers are gonna get up to 60 feet high. They're gonna be doing three to four flips. It's all in this, like the best of the best. This is how they train for the Olympics. Huh. I think that's the Flying Ace All-Stars right over there, guys. I think they're getting ready. These are the jumps. The very far end right down there. That's the mogul. And they got a little mini. Single, triple, double, single. This is just called free ride. If you look up there, they got these different launching ramps to get down into it. Wow. Hey, we just got started here. Welcome everybody to Utah Olympic Park and the Flying Ace All-Stars. We are so happy to be here and performing for you and we are so grateful that you came out today we're going to catch some big air you know there is a rule though a wise man once said the louder you are the higher they go so when you see something cool you got to make some noise all right but we're going to start things when we do our public shows we always start things off with a little tribute to america so if everyone will please rise for our national anthem olympic freestyle pool at the utah olympic park the summer home for the Flying Ace All-Stars. I'm Olympian Trace Worthington. Thank you for joining us for an exciting performance. And I'm Olympian Fuzz Federson. Trace and I founded the Flying Ace All-Stars in 1993 and have not only entertained thousands, but through our shows and with your attendance, we have provided great support for the current and next generation of athletes. Today's show will feature a mix of Olympic caliber athletes who will all be laying it on the line for this unique one-of-a-kind performance. And on behalf of the Olympic Park and our performing athletes, thank you for being here and enjoy the show. There's the Flying Ace All-Stars right there. Woo! Good job, guys. They're doing great. They have a lot of stairs to walk up, guys. Lots of stairs. 
There's only one guy he's still going all the way up. Still going up. Bubbles has happened. All right. Woo! I just got nervous for them. I'm like nervous. Oh my gosh. Come on, everybody. It's time to make some noise. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So fast! Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me, guys? Welcome everybody to Spectacles Olympic Freestyle Pool at the Utah Olympic Park. We're the Flying Ace All Stars. I'm your ringleader today. Your MC, show producer. My name is Fuzz Pedersen, three-time Olympian in the sport of freestyle aerial skiing. Today, oh thanks. Woo! Today I've got the real easy job. I'm just on the microphone talking about all these great young athletes that are performing for you today. So young, in fact, none of them were born when I was competing. <laughs> I'm landing in a giant swimming pool, and sometimes you're like, so what is this all about? Well. I'm gonna give you a little history. We started jumping in this pool 1993, specifically for my sport, which is freestyle aerial skiing. Now, since that time when we opened, we have all different disciplines of winter sport that come here and train into this swimming pool, including mogul skiing, slope style skiing, half pipe skiing, big air skiing, and snowboarding. Though we don't have any snowboarders jumping in today's show. Uh, but the goal is the same for all those athletes, to, to perfect and learn your acrobatic skills here into the pool before you ever attempt those tricks on snow. And if you've ever seen any of those sports that I mentioned in the winter, either on television or live, and you see these athletes doing multiple flips and twists and doing some really difficult athlete or uh, acrobatic skills you're like how did they ever learn well this is one of the ways that we teach these athletes how to flip and twist with skis and snowboards on their feet that extra weight adds a little dimension that people don't really think about now we start athletes jumping here as young as six years old in the first place they jump is on the mini and if you look on the backs of the jumps all the jumps are labeled and the smallest jump that we have obviously is called the mini and it has a very easy to ski on surface it's plastic yet it feels almost like carpet athletes can turn wedge or snow plow down that in run very easy to ski on and the first time we have a young athlete up there we're just point them straight make it to the pool most time that happens and they are going uh, at a speed when they come off their first jump. They basically just have enough speed to get up the jump and plop down into the water. Before you know it, they're swimming as fast as they can, running back up the stairs. They take a step up, a little more speed, and they'll do it again and again. Then they're like, okay, I'm ready to try a trick. Something as easy as a 180 or a 360. Then they will uh, move up to one of our single jumps. And we have two single jumps here at the site, and they have a hydraulic top on them. This single is in the up position. If you saw it right before the show, it was down in the lower position. So it's an easy transition from that mini jump to jump on the single with the top down, 
then they put the top up so it's progression and then they start adding flips and twists and we're going to show you how all the other jumps work here right now we're going to start on that mogul jump on the left hand side mogul skiers have to do two acrobatic jumps in a competition mogul run and that jump has the same size and shape as those jumps in competition our mogul expert is up there to show you how that jump works right now Nicely done, and we got two athletes at the top. The they half, need a little the encouragement. Pipe. Let's bring them down. And big air. Here they go. Here they go. Oh, it's a pinwheel. A little But I'm not kind of person that if this should let you want to go. Wow. Nicely done right there, laid out in the first slip, a full twist on that second somersault, putting it right on his feet, ready to ski away on snow. We're going to add a full twist onto that same jump. This will be a double twisting double back. We call this one a full full. Beautifully done, perfect execution right there. Double twisting double back flip. Now it's time to move to that big jump in the middle, the one that is labeled triple. The athletes have nicknamed that jump Mongo. In the first triple, we are gonna show you something we call the blaster. It's a single twisting, triple backflip. He needs a little help, a little encouragement. Let's get him going. Jump right there, big triple somersault with a full twist. But we got two more guys up there, so we're gonna add another full twist onto that same jump. This will be a double twisting triple. Let's give them a little love, people. Here they go. Anybody can come watch this, guys. Oh my god. Oh my yeah, god. Big air right there. Three backflips, two full twists, perfect form and execution, nicely done. Where do you go from there? Let's just add another full twist. It's as easy as that. Triple twisting, triple backflip. Let's get them going. Oh, he's going. Oh, Oh my oh, god! It looked way too easy right there. Woo! Alright, so I just I turned off and missed it. He says I'm looking to make sure that their knees are together and, uh, and they have the straight Olympic legs. Is a really That's cool what they look for in Olympics. Anybody can come, Mark, as you can see, Talking about high diving. Huge scaffolding on the east side of the pool. It's a temporary structure put there by the International High Diving Institute. And uh, if you look closely, there are nine different platforms on that diving tower, starting with the lowest at three meters. And we have a diver that is standing up there right now on the 10 meter platform. 10 meters is the highest that they currently compete at at the Olympic Games. So you can see there's a lot of room to go up from there. And these athletes are hoping that some of these higher dives will be in the Olympics in the future. But we are gonna demonstrate right now from that 10 meter platform. This gentleman is from New Zealand and uh, competing for New Zealand. This is Brad Rumpet. Beautiful I'm very good at camera work. Sorry right there about from the 10 meter platform. Some of these athletes that are jumping here today might be at those Olympic Games and hopefully bringing home some medals for the United States of America. So we are going to start things off on that mogul jump. This girl, she comes from a family, uh, a multi-talented sport family. She has two sisters that are on the U.S. ski team. One is on Nordic jumping, one is on Alpine racing, and this is the third. She is on the U.S. freestyle ski team. Possible three sisters could be at the Olympic Games competing in different events. Please welcome Ali Masuga. Yeah, 
showing you how to twist right there. Ali Masuga, right hand jump on the way up there. Our next athlete, born and raised right here in Park City. He's a freestyle diver, freestyle trampolinist, freestyle uh, skier as well. He's always going big. Make a little noise for Luke Flips, Luke Federson. Also born and raised right here in Park City, 18 years old. He just finished his first year competing on the World Cup of free ride or slope style and big air skiing, competing against the best in the world. This is James Kanzler. member of the U.S. Freestyle Summer Aerial months. Team and just a few months ago in Beijing, China at the Winter Olympic Games, this girl competed in the individual aerial event at those Olympic Games and she brought home the bronze medal for the United States of America. Please welcome Megan Nick. from the U.S. Freestyle Ski Team, competition-wise, but he's the captain of the Flying Ace All-Stars, and he still loves to go big every day. Make a little noise for this guy, Nick Seaman. Nick Seaman, triple twisting. Going back up to the top, we have our next athlete. He is from Cleveland, Ohio. He wants to make it to the U.S. Freestyle Ski Team training here with Park City Ski and Snowboard. A lot of fun to watch. Ashton Sawan. A few months ago, and has been jumping like a superstar. Just started working on these triple somersaults. Make a little noise for Ian Schoenwald. Big jump right there, Ohio. They're raising aerialists in Cleveland, Ohio. This guy, 19 years old, current member of the U.S. Freestyle Aerial Team. He's got some jumps. He, he fly fishes all day, guides people on the river, comes out and jumps with the Flying Ace All-Stars in the evening. Make a little noise for Derek Kruger. there with the most difficult jump we have seen so far today. Quad twisting, triple backflip, double pull in, which is really hard to do. Full pull, double pull, full pull. Four full twists, three backflips from the 19-year-old Derek Kruger. And perfectly executed. That would score some high points on the World Cup Tour. How many times you rehearse it or you talk it over, Formation it jumping. never quite turns out exactly like you think it's gonna because everybody has different speeds and the weather, you just, everything can change so crazy. So uh, I always say, if you got your phone, this might be a good jump, the video, because even I couldn't tell you exactly what is gonna happen here because it's pretty important. They all have to know what jump they're doing but they have to know what their teammates are doing. And more importantly, they all have to know exactly where in this giant swimming pool they are going to land. Because we don't want anybody coming down on anybody. If you land in the wrong spot, uh, you turn into an Olympic swimmer because somebody else might want to land there, which is hard to do with those skis on as you've been watching these athletes. So are there coming out onto right, the ramp right zoom now. Out if you look to closely, do better to check everybody. they have the sprinklers on that plastic surface. There's sprinklers that go up and down all the jumps and they wet down that plastic surface to keep it running smooth and fast. So it looks like we are ready for this formation jump. Their job is to catch big air. Your job is to make some noise and pump them up. Let's oh, bring yeah. them down for this jump. 
said they're all gonna go. Well, get ready. Oh my gosh. I can't even handle that. That was so cool. We just looked up, guys. This is freaking Alan's me out. a cheerleader. Get them going over there. All right. We are going to get them to hike back up the 128 stairs to the top of those jumps right now. And since we're doing that, we might as well go to the high diving oh tower right now. And our boy from New Zealand, Brad Rumpet, is now standing at the 27 meter platform, which is over double the height of the highest Olympic divers that only dive from 10 meters, 27. This is approximately 90 feet off the water. They tell me that when they hit the water from this height, they are going somewhere between 55 and 60 miles an hour. Let's make a little noise for oh. Mr. Crab Rumpet. Triple somersault with a half twist. Brad Rocket, Team New Zealand right there. Showing you how to get off that huge, huge diving tower. Ask questions we get here at the pool. Mo biggest questions are about the pool. The pool is 10 feet deep everywhere except under the diving tower where it is 16 and a half feet deep under that high diving tower. The pool is not heated. Uh, I'm told we're all, almost up to 70 degrees, which is pretty warm because we start jumping here in May and we jump till about the middle of October. So the middle, when they started jumping in May, uh, the water was a balmy 48 degrees. <laughs> That's chilly people. and. Uh, but now warmed up considerably. But the biggest question we get here at the pool is everybody wants to know what is the deal with those bubbles? And Jake's our bubble boy today, aeration engineer. And you can see that air that's coming up from the bottom of the pool right now. They can uh, push the air into different sections of the pool depending on what jump you're going off of. And what that does is it breaks up the service tension of that flat water and makes it a little bit softer for these athletes. Actually, it's quite a bit softer. When you have skis or snowboards on your feet, that extra surface area really makes it a little bit firmer when you hit that water. But having that air in there makes it a lot softer. And some of these athletes that are jumping, you know, five, maybe six days a week, uh, and you're doing tons of jumps in that time, to have the, that little bit of softer landing helps your body to recover quicker and keep jumping, do more training, and that's what it's all about, right? More jumps you get. So that technology really helps out these athletes. For this finale jump of the Flying Ace all -Star. Here they come, they're coming in, oh my gosh, guys. You guys are awesome, this is the video, this is the way we're ready to tell me. One of the most impressive things I've ever seen, you guys are awesome, thanks guys. This is also right there, guys. See that like, white, that part there? That is the bobsled track. It goes all the way up there. This is amazing. This is where they have like the mini ski jump before when they, people start to learn to ski jump right there, the little mini ski jumps there. And one of the things that's unique here about this Utah Olympic Park is anybody could come up here and use these facilities. Like you could pay and you could go down and ride the bobsled, go down the bobsled. You could come to learn how to do jumps. And like, even like that's aerial ski jumping, Miles, who's six, he's like, I want to do it. And 
and they said and they announced it like six year olds can do it so mom's like i think i can do it i'm like oh boy here we go but anyways this is something that's very unique it's something very unique to utah to the utah olympic park because most olympic parks they don't, it's not open to public but this one here is you come up here and watch the ski jumpers it's up in park city utah <laughs> It's so fun. It's amazing. I love it. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's a different type of content we normally do, but it's just something I thought would be some fun to see. I heard about it and we thought we'd come up here as a family. And so we're just enjoying it. Thank you for spending some time with us. You guys are awesome. You guys, that's Amanda. And I bet she's going straight to the popcorn. She's got to be getting in line for popcorn. Let's go find out what she's doing. <laughs> yep, she's in line for popcorn. What are you doing? Some popcorn. Of course. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I feel so guilty. I feel like I've been busted. <laughs> you have been busted. I was like, what's going on? I uh, Miles went with Sweet D, you took him, and then I thought I thought you guys were all together, and I saw Miles and Sweet D driving away. I'm like, bye bye. And then I look over, and there you are walking over here. <laughs> I think I'm blushing a little bit. I'm you like, are. I'm just gonna go get some popcorn real fast. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. She's happy. Got your little little poppy to pop pop. So happy. Babe. So Babe, I'm gonna be honest with you. Just so you know, you look amazing. I mean, look at this little outfit. She got her boots on, black leggings, popcorn. Oh, you stop it. Guys, he's the best. Look at this, I love this place. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. If you guys could please hit that like button and that subscribe button. We're trying to show you all these cool things going on here in Utah. Don't worry, in a couple of days, we'll be going back and doing a whole bunch of more Disney stuff. We'll be in Disney for a long time, getting lots of Disney stuff. But we're just kind of just doing a little extra stuff here in Utah for a little bit. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And I just want you guys to know that you are just as amazing as those athletes. Yes, you are, you really are. No matter what's going on in your life, no matter how hard or how difficult it gets, I want you to know that you are awesome. And because of you, the world is a better place. Do not give up. And you guys, that's awesome. We're probably gonna see this some of those, those amazing athletes in the Olympics here in three years in Italy. Ah, wait a minute. Did you hit that like button yet? Okay, all right guys, hit the subscribe button, like button. I'm Chris Provost, you're watching Pro's Park Pass. Thanks guys, bye-bye.